These coffee cookies are super simple yet tastes super delicate and all you need is butter, sugar, flour, and coffee. So let's get started. First, you want to dissolve 2 teaspoons of instant coffee or espresso powder with a teaspoon of water. Just give it a quick little mix, set that aside, and now take a stick of unsalted softened butter. It only takes a couple of hours for it to get soft because it is so hot these days. It's summer, right? Um, so cream the butter with a spatula just until it is a bit softened. Then add a quarter cup of white granulated sugar. Keep in mind that these aren't those super sweet cookies, so add a half of a cup if you like them to be sweet. Mix the sugar and butter with a spatula, then with a whisk until both are nicely combined. The mixture should turn into a creamy mixture and look paler in color. It just takes a couple of minutes, like two minutes or so. Now add in the instant coffee from earlier, whisk that in, and you'll, you'll see that the butter turns into this really beautiful brownie color. Okay, this is looking good. Next, fold in one cup of all-purpose flour with a spatula. Now, don't use a whisk, it's gonna like cause a mess. Um, just kind of mix the flour into the butter mixture around um, until it forms a soft dough. You want to do this with a spatula. So this is what the cookie dough should look like. It should have a earlobe kind of consistency. Now, because the dough is really soft, you want to transfer the dough onto a plastic wrap, roll it into a log, um, then place it into the fridge to let it chill and firm up for one hour to one hour, one hour and a half. After an hour or so, um, now it is nice and hard, you want to use a sharp knife to cut the dough into half inch thick slices. Um, this part is very satisfying, just saying. Um, so you'll have fun with this. Place them onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. And after you've done that for all the cookies, you want to place the tray into the refrigerator as you're preheating the oven. Once the oven is preheated, take the tray out of the fridge and bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 minutes or until the edges look nice and a bit brown. And oh man, look at this. You won't believe how good they smell. Your whole house will smell like coffee and butter. Coffee and butter, the best combo. Now transfer the warm cookies onto a cooling rack um, to let cool completely and crisp up. And that's it! They smell better than candles and Starbucks. Seriously, anyone can make this. Alright, I'll catch you guys up next time.